Good luck. Today's episode, no. <laughs> What I was going to say before the dog tried to take the camera out of my hand was that today's episode is going to come to you in two parts because holy crap, a lot of things have happened. It's been a very, very, very busy return to the States. And so uh, you're going to have to wait to see these mongrels. Uh, yeah, later. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope it makes some semblance of sense and I hope you enjoyed the one that comes after it. Here we are in America. place called Top Golf that we're gonna try today because we haven't played I want to play golf but this seems like a more family friendly fun adventure version of it or it's like a driving range that they also serve food something like that we're about to find out but I miss having a little bit of golf in my life so let's give it a try This is already quite the experience. It's like a driving range, but with massive targets and a bunch of games you can play. I like it, we're off to a good start. Okay, so this video is gonna end up featuring Grandma Jane at some point. We're gonna go see my mom. I don't know if my mom's gonna be too interested in being on camera, but Grandma Jane, she'll be into it. So this is the Grandma Jane episode for Ruben out there, but it starts with the most space age looking golf course I've ever seen. but apparently he's he's a shark. He's like, oh yeah, I've never played before. What's this, a club? Uh, and then hits it as far as any of us. That was a lot of fun. Highly recommended. I wish we had that in France. Oh man, stuff like this that makes me miss America. Anyways, hopefully there's more golf in my future, but in the meantime, I have no idea what we're doing this afternoon. This is our last day in Tucson. My dad and I are gonna head to Spokane tomorrow while these guys go back to San Diego. You gotta soak up as much of the sun as possible before we go. Ooh. That was a good game. That was. Down the wire. Ready, Karn? Yeah. Alright. Have, have fun back ending. We've been laying around the pool and playing games, and Karn wants to go see if she can get some pool. Her running, and I'm totally game for that. We'll see if we can't get it to track her, and if not, I'll just manually fly and try not to fly into the back of her head. Point. Wow. This is the right time to do it. I should, we should, I should have had a bite of this whole thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
You get to keep the five dollars. Well, I get the. Yeah, what, what, do I owe you? Yeah, fifteen hundred. <laughs> Give me that five dollars. <laughs> so you, that was a tip. <laughs> no. Uh, You're not going to mortgage your railroads? They're only 400. I'll have it. I'm the Monopoly man. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the last night in Tucson together, and these guys are coming back to San Diego. My dad and I are going to fly to Spokane. It's going to go from delightful warm desert to freezing cold tundra real quick. That's it. That's all I got. You got anything, Kevin? It's still going to be warm where I'm going. Family photo time. Selfie so. Time to get out of here. What up, guys? Bye. Bye. Love you. See ya. Karn and Kevin left. We've cleaned up the place and Dad had a great idea. We should go back to Top Golf and hit some more golf balls and have lunch and then head to the airport. Get a little bit of swing and exercise. that we uh, have all of our stuff with us, so we'll see how this goes. There's plenty of space. Rough. We're in rough shape this morning. We're just not, we're not hitting them quite as well as yesterday. Feeling, feeling the pain, feeling the pain. I tried to fly my drone, they weren't happy about that. So we're just gonna keep it chill and hit some balls and then head to the airport here in a minute. But this is a great way to, I miss golf so much. It's a great way to spend a couple of hours. Probably the best way to kill time before catching a flight ever. Anyways, we're on our we're on our way to the airport now. And we'll go from this delightful desert to the frozen tundras of the north. This isn't actually tundra technically, but also how do you like my new shirt? My dad got me a new shirt. I think it's really cool. It's from a local coffee shop. And it's really soft and warm, which is good because this is miserable. Ugh. It's a slight difference going from cacti and blazing hot sunshine to freezing weather, but you know, worth it. We're gonna get some running shoes today. Hopefully go for a run, which would be great. And have some thoughts for a garage monologue, which I might separate out into a different video. We'll find out. But in the meantime, go grab some running shoes, grab some lunch, see my mom and see what happens. Fleet Feet is like the local shoe running gear thing. Jay doesn't know how to speak English good no more. But anyways, this is where we always end up getting our running shoes. Gonna grab a pair of new running shoes because mine are like 50 miles overdue. They have, they're literally shredding on the sides. I need me some running shoes. Maybe we can go for a run later. Maybe. It's cool, but it's up a little. Oh, we can handle it. I'll leave my, uh, all this stuff here.
This new store is so nice, man. Yeah, for sure. It's amazing. Yeah. This location is new. I've never been in here before, and the service is always really nice. If you're, I don't know where Fleet Feet is located, if it's just a Spokane thing or where it is, but if you happen to be in the area, they do a full 3D scan of your feet just by standing there, which is fantastic because nobody's touching your feet or measuring it, like just with old scales to like old measuring technology, which is cool. Then what's interesting about it is you can see just how asymmetrical, like for me, my right foot is a little bit shorter than my left foot, but like wider and has a taller arch and just is, feels generally more misshapen. So that's actually really cool to see in, in like, not in real time, but it's really cool to see the scan that they produce out of that. And then they can give you advice on like what type of shoe you should be wearing to better support your feet and have a better time running, which is great because since I just wear Vans all the time, probably could use some better shoes, especially when I'm running. Also, for me, when I buy shoes like Vans or whatever, I barely fit into like a size 12, like it's really tight. So I end up getting like a size 13 just for comfort size 12 and a half if I can. In France, I pretty much have to buy size 12s. But it's interesting to know that I'm not even quite a size 12 on my on like my foot length. It's just the weird sizing and volume of my feet that ends up making bigger shoes more comfortable. So an educational experience here at Fleet Feet. Anyways, we're going to grab these shoes, hopefully grab lunch. I'm imagining some pizza pipeline is en route and then uh, go see my mom and definitely going for a run later. My dad, in the meantime, is checking out all the different earbud options. Uh -oh. Traveled all the way to America to buy a French pair of shoes. That was great. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Looking forward to going for a run is what I mean to say. Boy, language remains difficult. really up for being on camera today but she's doing all right right mom yeah you're doing good yeah people keep asking it's odd the mental health issues are odd they are odd but you do seem a lot sharper you seem to be in a much better space than you were a year ago so it's really good and there you have it this the uh, seuss wants an update <laughs> Let's try out this new running gear. Between the shoes and this stuff, my dad gave me a running jacket, which is great, and Karin gave me this hat for Christmas, which is so soft and is the perfect combination with the sunglasses and a sunset and some dad action. Woo! With his new sunglasses. Clash. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be hard to see from distance. Clash fan. Clash fan. Did about 5K, hat worked, shoes worked, outfit worked. I looked stylish, devilishly handsome while running. The shoes, phenomenal. I got some inserts for them that I was like, oh no, this is gonna be too much support. In the end, no, just the right amount of support. Fantastic, but speaking of stylish, say, say your goodbyes to the mustache because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gone shortly. It's still here, I didn't want to traumatize you that quickly. Time for dinner with dad, drinks with friends, and then off to see Grandma Jane tomorrow. <laughs>
All righty, we are here in Grandma Jane land, Wenatchee, Washington. For those of you, Ruben, you've been dying to see Grandma Jane. Ruben doesn't even watch my vlog unless Grandma Jane's in it. So like, I this is I, there's so many things that I could have been saying about you, Ruben, for the last few weeks. You never know. You know, I have no idea. You just gonna have to go back and find out. But in the meantime, uh, let's go to lunch with Grandma Jane. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Yeah. <laughs> You look great. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, so do you. Yeah, I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah. It's not gray. It's, yeah, it looks fantastic. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good to see you. Yeah. Oh. Are you up for a little bit of lunch? Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, you are? Oh, boy, am I. Okay, well, yeah. um, where do you want to go? Well, where's your favorite lunch place? Well, the place I like is the Applebee's. Okay. All right. Then we'll go to Applebee's. Whatever Grandma's up for, Grandma gets. <laughs> Keeping up on them? Yep. 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 Am, I, am I showing you enough flowers and buildings and pretty ladies? <laughs> Lots of pretty ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just everything's nice. Yeah, you're enjoying it? Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. As long as I get the thumbs up approvals from Grandma Jane, then oh, I'm doing yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's just telling me what, whether or not she approves of my vlogging. <laughs> so far, what has she said? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm succeeding so far. It's oh, good. Okay. Oh, you got to get a shot of your salad in there? Hold on. My gosh, you have to look at the food over there, Eric. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> good looking food for good looking people. My help. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for hanging out for lunch, Grandma. Well, yeah, thank you for lunch. Oh boy, this is a tight parking space. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. It was good to see Grandma Jane. Real good. Should happy to see you too. Uh, but now we gotta get some coffee on the way out of town, so we're gonna check out this Bella Bistro, who's serving, proudly serving Blue Star Coffee Roasters, which my dad said is roasted in Winthrop or Twist. Small town. There are roasters, coffee everywhere in Washington State. It's the best part. Yeah, highway, the Highway 20 has fun. Okay. These guys are really friendly. That was a nice little pit stop before the long trek back to Spokanistan. Caffeine to keep us alive. Here we go.